Good morning everybody, welcome back to Vlogmas part two. This morning I'm feeling particularly grinchy, it is dark, it is very cold, it pretty much looks like the sun is going down, the only thing that's making this better is the tree is on. I tried getting dressed, I don't like it, I tried doing my hair, I don't like it, so now we have the ponytail. I tried curling my hair, curls just aren't the same when your hair is like, you know, I'm just, I've, I've reached that stage of the short hair again oh and my makeup is falling in my eye obviously the bob is growing out because i can't see a hairdresser but i have an asos order to show you that has arrived as part of my work with them but i thought i would show you because there are some absolutely gorgeous bits in my order and i'm also going to make myself hot chocolate because i need that kind of pick me up in my life right now good morning how you doing we need to put a jumper on you you don't look christmasy and festive enough high five <laughs> also very bored of lockdown life right now which is probably not helping like i miss lauren so much i'm so bored i want someone to talk to i want to go outside i want to go to zz's and eat some pasta that's what i want i'm gonna stop being grinchy now because it's not the vibe for vlogmas forgot i need to show you my outfit i i tried getting dressed this morning right tried wearing something that wasn't loungewear i was like yeah i've got this saved in my instagram folders it looks cute i don't love it i don't know what do you think i don't know if it's a bit too preppy for me it looks so cute on so many people i love this layered kind of like jumper shirt underneath kind of vibes but i don't think it works on me there's just something about me that it doesn't work on i used to always think back in the day when i tried to do this look that it was because i had like boobs like boobs but my boobs are like tiny right now and i'm still not enjoying it but this jumper is from and other stories i believe it's still on sale at the moment if it hasn't sold out because i feel like a lot of people have linked to these and other stories jumpers recently the shirt underneath i believe is asos it's like their boyfriend fit just plain white shirts basic asos design do it and they redo it all the time like just keep re-releasing it my leggings are my zara leather look leggings and then my veja trainers i will try and link them i always get asked like what kind they are i honestly have no idea so i'm just going to link them in the info box but they're super super comfy i'm very happy with them they're a great purchase so yeah that is my outfit today all right okay here we go so i wanted to show you these bits because i think some of them are like really lovely festive colors i am aware that i'm filming this on black friday week so i'm not actually sure of the stock levels by the time this gets to you i don't really plan like to show you guys like stuff in videos around black friday so i'm just kind of like rolling with this and hoping that some of these items are still in stock by the time you watch this firstly i really want to show you guys these these could end up being christmas day boots these boots make me think of rachel from friends like every time i see them i'm like i don't need to go outside i don't need to dress up because i've got great boots boots yeah that's the level of like lockdown craziness that i have got to but they are great boots i love them they're so pretty basically i'm going to try and plan my christmas day outfit around these because i love them so much or some kind of like festive outfitness because they are stunning. They do run kind of small, so I would say if you're like in between sizes to size up, but oh my God, they are so beautiful. The heels are really good height, and I would say the kind of like leg length on them is really good as well. On me being five foot two, I don't find them to like be hitting the kind of joint of my knee, which some of my boots actually do. The top of these boots come to a very good point on me, so very happy with them. I got a size five for reference, but I definitely could have done a size six. We then have this super cozy midi dress my hair is annoying me so much this is just so soft so snuggly you guys know i love a midi dress because you just don't really have to think about your outfit so much be right back someone's at the door my lamp. so you can't see it but my lamp up here it's just not the vibe around Christmas time. So I actually picked up the same lampshade that I have in my office, which is relatively inexpensive. And I love the way it looks in my office and my living room is a very similar vibe, very neutral. So I was like, actually it's so neutral and so inoffensive that I can probably pop this up. And it's a much more classic vibe. I feel like the lampshade that I have at the moment is much more summery and I can switch in between if I want. But yeah, I thought I'd pick up another one. But anyway, I picked up this midi dress. It's in this gorgeous, like creamy, beigey, neutral tone. It looks very white when I'm holding it up at the moment moment but it's just because this room is just it's very dark in here it's the classic issue of filming in winter is just everything looks slightly blue and sad but yeah you can kind of see here it's like a lovely creamy color and then we also have it i believe it's the yeah pretty much the exact same style in this gorgeous like burgundy like a cranberry red which is just 
honestly so stunning i really love this it is just absolutely beautiful i'll do try-ons once i've talked you through everything in a second but i also picked up this one which is a slightly lighter thinner version of these midi dresses this one's like a rib almost jersey like fabric much lighter and much better kind of going from autumn into winter if you were to wear this year on year this would probably be one that i think you'd get more wear out of in more seasons because it is slightly thinner so you can layer it under like leather jackets and stuff like that and it's not particularly heavy when you're just like wearing it inside the house it's got a lovely tie waist and a slit on the legs the color of this is just a little bit more brown toned than this midi dress and it's just a little bit less rich in tone i would say but it makes it slightly less festive and slightly more wearable if you're going to wear it like september through like january or something like that this is very this is very christmas then we have this dress which is a lovely high neck black dress it is structured on the shoulder it has padded shoulders but it's very lightweight in its material which is lovely it has a tie at the waist and it's quite a thick tie waist as well which gives it this lovely like structure around the waist and then it just goes into like a perfect kind of mini dress skirt and i actually think the skirt length on this will cater to a lot of different heights not all heights obviously but on me it comes to a very kind of like i would say like respectable length Length, like just above my knee but it's definitely not one of those dresses that is super short so yeah you'll probably see when i try it on but yeah those are my bits that i picked up from asos this month and i wanted to share especially like the midi dresses with you because i just thought they were very like festive and appropriate for this time of year and like i said i'm sharing them on instagram because of the work i do with asos i'm a brand ambassador for them but i know lots of you don't follow me on instagram lots of you don't have instagram so i always like to kind of like as much as i can share the things that i share on instagram on here as well doubling up a little bit but for those of you that don't follow me on both or might have missed it this is for you but anyway i'm gonna try them on i'm probably gonna start with this because it is literally so festive okay so we're trying a different mirror setup today because it is just so dark and i really want to be able to show you guys details of things in full but it is winter and i am not a miracle worker so do bear that in mind so this is the burgundy dress it's so gorgeous i'm obsessed with the sleeves i love the way they fall because obviously you've got the ribbed bit towards the end and it's tighter and then the bell sleeve just puffs out so perfectly it's so gorgeous i got all of these items in a size eight just for reference and the sizing is perfect i really think with midi dresses you can get away with with sizing down a little bit even if you're unsure i'm normally kind of like between sizes due to my hips they're just wide like the bones they're just wide there is like plenty of material here it's just absolutely lovely this bag is very noisy but yeah i love this this is a real contender for christmas day dress i'm not gonna lie i'm wearing top shop boots with this these are some old like tan colored like you can really see the colors here tan colored croc boots the only thing i really don't like about these is that they are so round on the toe but they are just the perfect tone and texture to go with so many things in my wardrobe so i keep them and then we've got my lovely chloe test bag which is brown croc and then tan straps and this bag has just really come into its own this winter for me oh look it's very blue wow let's fix that there we go hi yeah i don't wear this bag and these boots too often throughout the year but this year they have really come into their own when i'm styling things and i'm really enjoying them i literally left the room for two minutes you know i need those clothes right so this is the cream version already it's so much easier to show you guys because it is a lighter color this is so gorgeous it's that perfect like beigey neutral tone that i feel will work really well on a number of skin tones it's really lovely not too yellow toned not too warm toned it's just like perfect bang in the middle it works really beautifully with the boots these are what they look like on so you can see how far they come up my leg and it's nice that the dress has this slit on the side so you can really see that as you're walking you also get a lot more movement it's much less restrictive and the dress as a whole this style of dress is so unrestricted like it just is so nice and loose here and then it kind of gets tighter over my hips and i just love that this is food baby central really right here so yeah that is the cream dress so this is the ribbed round neck dress and i do love this i love this so much i think if you are one of those people that is quite conscious of accentuate accentuating is that the word i think if you're one of those people that likes to put a little bit of a focus on your waist this is such a gorgeous piece to have in your wardrobe i actually need to know if they do this in more colors because this would be an absolute staple for me in like a cream and a black it's so beautifully fitted and then you've got the tie waist as well, which really helps to bring the silhouette in. It's just 
absolutely stunning. I know that the other two dresses will work a lot better with some people's preferences. I know a lot of people that would prefer to have this area here slouchy and then focus on the bottom half, but this I'm also just really in love with the fit of it. It's absolutely stunning. It has a little bit of a slit again, which I really like. It shows whatever kind of boot you want to wear underneath, whether it's a boot or a trainer. I think trainers work really well with a dress like this as well, but definitely check it out if you're looking for something in a very seasonal tone because this is just beautiful. So this is the black dress. I'm going to try and show you the details on the waist first, just before I get into the mirror shot, because you cannot see the waist details. And I just wanted to Kind of hopefully show you how it's looking not sure i've done the best job with tying it but just so you can see it has a panel that kind of goes across here it wraps around at the back comes back through and then you tie it in the middle i believe and i've just done it in a little knot in the middle here but anyway i picked up this dress because it just looked like the perfect timeless piece to have in my wardrobe and i really think i was right it is so lovely it's not too tight on the bottom like there's actually you can see there's a lot of movement available on the bottom it's not too tight it's not like bodycon the material feels really lovely and the tie waist is gorgeous it just gives this amazing silhouette i think especially with the padded shoulders i always used to think that i couldn't wear padded shoulders because i have quite wide shoulders but actually what i've always found is that adding a bit more height to them actually helps me look like i'm more in proportion and it makes this part of my body look a lot smaller as well and because i have wide hips it balances me out really nicely so i actually love padded shoulders for that now especially because when i was younger my hips were always something i was so conscious of not so much now but back in the day it used to really be kind of like a comfort blanket for me when it came to little black dresses and it has kind of always stayed with me as a style that i know works really beautifully with my body shape so yeah i thought this was a really lovely timeless piece to have in my wardrobe and it works really nicely with the boots i'm very happy about that so if you do follow me on instagram i will have posted all of these outfits in the kind of way that i've already styled them here on my grid so you can go over there and save that if you want if you want to save it to your saved folders and keep it as like styling inspo or anything like that you don't need to screenshot the video i know i speak to a lot of people and they're like screenshot your videos and i'm like I need to put this on Instagram more so that you don't have to do that. So yeah, everything will be over on my Instagram if you want to save it. But yeah, let me know what your favourite was in the comments. Okay, so I've just been doing a little bit of work in the office, being very zen, the classical music was on. And now I am actually going to run out and get some food because my fridge is looking a little bit empty. So I thought I would show you what I'm wearing. It's quite a practical outfit that I've got planned out. They all are at the moment. I feel like there's a running theme in my life at the moment. It's just lots of very practical outfits i thought i would talk you through it because i know you guys really enjoyed my practical haul what was that video i did i can't even remember now but it was like full of like practical essentials and i've been wearing them so much to be honest but there's so many other things that i purchased last year that are also just very practical that i've really been getting the wear out of and today's is definitely one of them so i've got this old all saints jumper on i think they might still sell this it is lovely i actually shrunk it a little bit it used to be longer but yeah i love this jumper so much it's so soft and really easy to Wear. I've got my leather look leggings on that I had on earlier, my Zara boots, lots of you will recognise these because I used to wear them so so much and I've really missed them so I decided to crack them out again, they really just give a little bit of like extra something to an outfit and I love it. Then over that we have my All Saints scarf which is the only scarf that I really make time for, I don't love scarves, I do find them quite annoying. Because of the length it is, it just kind of works well as one of those like throw over your shoulder kind of ones rather than a like loop around your neck which I just, I can't do. So yeah, I love this one. And I think like the boots, it adds a little bit of like extra interest to an outfit. And then we have the Marshmallow Coat of Dreams. This is also from All Saints, but I will link similar because there's been so many similar out this year, but it is just absolutely lovely. It's in this gorgeous like ecru color. I honestly couldn't recommend like puffer coats enough. They've just been absolute staples for me. So yeah, that is my practical winter outfit. I'm ready for a walk to the shops. This is definitely my all-time favourite practical outfit I think I've ever worn. It's so cute. <laughs> okay, I'm back. I'm just making myself hot chocolate and then I'm going to sit down and prep today's video. I've also got something very exciting that I am going to make for pudding tonight. Because Ryan basically has been making like cinnamon or winter spice buns a lot recently and I decided that I needed to have a go at this so wish me luck but i am now addicted to them to the point where i actually just crave them all day long but anyway i've got my oatly chocolate milk which i like to use because dairy messes up my face and this is the one way like hot chocolate powder you just never know if it's going to have milk powder in it so i try and stay clear so i just use oatly and i warm it up yeah that is literally it super easy
I have just been for a walk and it is so cold, like my camera is so cold from the outside that it's fogging up. Right, let's try this again. I actually had to sit my camera on my radiator, it wasn't too hot, but I had to sit it on the radiator to get like the glass and the whole, like all the metal of the camera to warm up. I forget that that happens this time of year, but we are back. I'm back in a very practical outfit today. I've just been on a walk with Lauren and annoyingly, I forgot to vlog. I will get better at this, I promise. It's really strange at the moment because when I see my friends, I don't see them, like I don't see Lauren every day anymore. So I kind of forget that I'm meant to be vlogging and yeah, I just want to catch up. And yeah, we were planning our 30th birthday, so got a bit carried away but anyway thought i'd show you what i wore today another very practical outfit like i said this is what i'm gonna call bank robber chic i actually put my mask on to go into the coffee shop and get a coffee and i looked like i was going to rob them but despite that i do really love this outfit my head is nice and toasty in this little i believe this is a zara like beanie hat it actually you can wear it like as one of those kind of ones that slouches at the back or kind of like pops up a little bit which i don't love so i've just kind of rolled this bit over a little bit. I have this in a nude colour as well. And then I've got my classic ASOS high neck knit on underneath. It's got really nice long sleeves, so it helps to kind of like keep my hands warm as well if they're poking out my coat. My coat is also from Zara. I don't know if they still do this, so I will try and find like a really good dupe for it. My bag is from Fendi, and I really like the fact that with a puffer coat, when I sling it over my shoulder, it kind of, as you can see, ties the puff coat in a little bit. So it gives me a little bit of like shape, a little bit of a waist, which is really nice because obviously the coat is just so big and so puffy. I've got the same Zara leather look leggings on again. These actually have thermals underneath this morning because they are a little bit thin. So I popped thermals on underneath just to give me the extra layer of warmth. Didn't need it on top, but as we get into like January, February in the UK, it gets really, really cold. So that would probably be thermal time for me. And then I've got these Ace boots on which I really like they are not my favorite pair my Zara lace-ups are definitely my favorite in terms of a stylistic choice but in terms of comfort these are way comfier like so incredibly comfy so yeah that is this morning's practical outfits this is the 2020 vibe yeah I know I know that I'm surprised as well but basically because I wore a hat earlier my hair was not good it didn't go well to start with I didn't know how to put it on and I almost had to call Kayla V to be like how do you do this? So I was on the Zara website and I was actually linking things for the info boxes, which is why I don't normally do the info boxes. Lauren normally does the info boxes, but Lauren had some holiday because it was her birthday. So, you know, very necessary. Long story short, I was linking things and I ended up looking at things. And I saw an outfit that I really liked. I really liked it. And we all know I love the houndstooth coat that I picked up in grey for my autumn winter coats video. I saw this one, which is actually, I want to say a black, a grey, and then a neutral. But the last one was very, like, a very dark grey. This is slightly different. And the neutral pops a lot more. It's, like, one of the main focuses of the jacket. I think this might look a bit crazy with my uh, hat on. So, this coat with <laughs> this. Oh, this is one thing that I really found was missing from my wardrobe. I've been like going through some knits recently, trying to style bits up for videos for you guys. And I realized I did not have a nice big roll neck. This feels amazing as well. I was really scared this was gonna be like itchy. I hate itchy things, it's a real bugbear of mine. This feels amazing. Like it's got a real nice stretch to it, as you can see. And it's really weighty. So I think it's gonna fall really beautifully. I love knits that are both like a little bit heavier, but kind of like stretchy weighty like the hem feels quite oh yes it's gonna fall really nicely the look was also styled up with these like light blue skinny jeans and i just love them i thought it looked so cool there's a lot of looks that i've been bookmarking recently like winter looks but they have a light blue jean and i have a really lovely pair of like blue blue jeans they're the top shop for jeans and i think they'll work perfectly with some of my tan coats but i thought this look on the zara website looked especially nice with like this tone and this light colored jean and then this jacket over the top as well. It's just a perfect neutral look. I actually ordered these jeans in both a size eight and a size 10, because as much as I am a size eight at the moment, I can't, I would just be so annoyed if I got them and then I actually needed the 10. I'm excited and I hope that it kind of comes out okay, we'll see. Okay, so this is the roll neck, which I actually kind of like. And I haven't really loved these in the past, but I love the tone of this one. It's like that perfect beigey, not too brown, not too gray kind of vibe. I've just tucked it a little bit here, but we can kind of let that loose, yeah. So just so you can see the length, this is what it looks like loose. And then I've got the jeans, these are the size eight. And then 
These are my ASOS boots, which I was planning on wearing the look with, and I will show you the coat now. So this is the look with the jacket. I've popped the collar up on this just because I think it makes it slightly less busy than when you have the lapel down. Yeah, let me know what you think. Do we love it? Are we not too keen? Annoyingly, I am not sure. If I was in flat boots, I would look a little bit like I'm meant to be going riding, and I kind of love that though. Hello, everybody. It's actually a fresh new week. I've had a little breakdown and I took a break. I'm back. I thought I would show you today's practical outfit before I wrap up this week's vlog. I think I'm gonna call this something like practical outfits I wore this week. That's all I've had to show you. But today I am wearing one of my favorite coat purchases of this season, it's from ASOS. You're not gonna be able to see it very well because it's black, but it's like a thick trench. It's got like a regular fabric material on the top and then the underside, hopefully you can see that, is quilted. And then the same on top, it's just like a normal coat material and then the inside, can you see it? Yeah. Okay, so normal coat material and then the inside is like all quilty, which I love. It's like a nice gentle nod to the kind of quilted sleeping bag coats without having to be full on sleeping bag. From behind, I'm, I'm normal, you know? It has a tie waist as well and it's super long. I love the oversized look that it has, but I love the fact that it has the tie waist so that you can really cinch it in. And what I've been loving doing at the moment, I will show you, is basically I put this scarf here over me and then I tie it once I've put the scarf on so it kind of like cinches me all in and the scarf kind of makes it a little bit of an extra statement so yeah this is what it looks like I don't know I just think it looks really cool and it's very very warm because this coat isn't thin it's not ridiculously heavy wear it would be annoying to wear after a long time it's very breathable and it feels light but thick and I really love that like I never feel cold in this underneath I've got my girlfriend leggings and then my ASOS boots that have like the little ribbed bit at the back. I think I would say it's the most practical but like fashion look that I've probably showed you. Although I can't remember what looks I've showed you. My brain is that like goldfish-esque. But yeah, let me know which one was your favorite. I would love to know. I'm gonna go now for a nice long walk, clear out the cobwebs, take a hot chocolate. And I will see you guys again in the next video. I really hope you enjoyed this one. Take care and I'll see you again soon. Love you, bye.